Today, I want to give you three reasons why you might want to consider including strength training into your lifestyle if you're going through perimenopause at the moment. Now, firstly, is to maintain your own density because as you go through menopause, your estrogen levels are falling and this leads to a decrease in bone density, which can increase your risk of frailty and bone fractures later in life. Now, the second reason is to maintain muscle mass. We all lose muscle mass as we age, and unfortunately, that's one of the reasons why we can develop frailty as we get into older life. But particularly so during menopause, when estrogen and testosterone levels are both falling, you're much more likely to suffer from loss of lean tissue. And this has an unfortunate secondary consequence because our muscle mass is responsible for our metabolic rate. The more we have, the more calories that will burn at rest. So when you start to lose muscle, it means you're at a greater likelihood of gaining a few extra pounds. And number three on our list, elevation of both physical and mental well-being you can gain from regular strength training. And this doesn't have to be much at all. If you're new to training, just some simple body weight squats or lunges, perhaps press ups on your knees, buying a set of resistance bands is an easy way that you can incorporate this at home. Or if you're going to a gym, then some weight bearing exercises would also be great. Squats, deadlifts, pushing, all those kind of things where you're putting a bit of a strain on your body and causing it to adapt, maintaining its strength and vital muscle mass.